Well, hello again, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. I thought today I would save a little time because of how long it takes to put the colors on there for a uh, reverse uh, dip. That I mixed all the colors already. Okay, I wanted to show you the ones from yesterday. Uh, I think this was the. Uh, I'm not sure now. I think this was the one that was the plastic wrap, and then this was the. Uh, the parchment paper. I um, also started taping the boards a little bit different on the back because I'm finding out that the uh, oh my boards level. I'm finding out that the uh, um, painters tape was peeling the paper off of the back. Okay, so I'm going to get started here. This is uh, Rust-Oleum um, white. The uh, uh, protective enamel, and I'm just going to pour it on. Hopefully, I did not make enough for uh, coasters because um, I wanted to just try this one more time. What I am doing today is a suggestion that was made in the comments of yesterday's video. I am going to try a paper towel, but I'm going to try it with some alcohol spritzed on it because you know water and resin don't mix. Okay, I'm going to heat this up real quick. What do I always do? I always point it away from my piece for five seconds to blow the dust boogers out, okay? And that's about how long it takes me to tell you to blow the dust boogers out. And I'm just going to heat it up real quick. Because all I'm going to do is just uh, push it around. I like to finger paint. I'd, I don't like to use a spatula or a stick or anything. I just use my good old fingers. But I do keep an alcohol rag. It's a cut up t-shirt with 91% uh, alcohol on it. And I do keep that close. And I'm trying to make sure I don't have any colors on my um, gloves before I go pushing this around. Um... I did wanted to tell you that I um that um I did um used um electrical tape on the back of this. So we're going to see if that works a little bit better. And I only used it on the edges and I used a piece of um a piece of um um butcher paper in the middle to cover the middle. So I'm going to see how that works because I got tired of, uh, I did a short video, I don't want to post it because of how, to, of how the, to remove the tape and I wasn't happy with it because it took forever to remove the tape and I have no editing skills to, to um, let me make sure, oh there's a dry spot, I have no editing um, program because I don't want to I got an older computer. I don't want to be downloading a bunch of different programs. And I don't do it on my phone. Okay. Um, okay. This is all smoothed out. Okay. The colors I'm using. This one is um, JR Plum by Just Resin. Okay. Now I'm going to try it a little bit different. I saw Sherry at Sherry's Life. Um, do uh, one that went from corner to corner. So I'm going to try to do a small one here and maybe a couple other little things. I don't know how it's going to work. And I'm not using the pi pipettes anymore. Because see, it does take a while to get the dot to get the dots down. did want to make this one just a little bit bigger and then the um I'm just gonna see if it works I do not know what the alcohol is gonna do to this see I already got a little purple dot where it doesn't belong okay oh that is just great ah uh, nothing I can do about it Resin's going to go where it wants to go. I didn't mean for that to happen. That was an accident. But 
it is what it is. You just go with it. That's all you can do. I'm going to make these just a little bit bigger. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a lighter purple, which is a Lavender Luster by Just Resin. trying to actually make them look like petals so I can then maybe push them out a little bit when I put the paper towel on there. I have no idea what the paper towel is going to do with the alcohol on it to this, but you can't put water on top of it, so somebody suggests to try alcohol. So I'm going to very lightly spritz a paper towel with some alcohol and lay it down the way I see Fiona do it, and the way I see Sherry do it, and I, I'm bound and determined to make this resin work, if it, if, you know, um, anyway, this is, okay, this silver is the aluminum by JR, uh, by Just Resin, I'm sorry, most people don't know, but don't know it by their, um, by, you know, just calling them JR, because it's got JRs on the lid, is what it is. Okay, that one looks like it could have used a little bit more of the light. Ah, oh. uh, never fails. I'm trying to be a little slow. Okay, um, I'm going to put like some other petals by themselves because I saw, saw Sherry do that. I thought it looked cute. I know I should have done all these at the same time, but I wasn't thinking. But I'm trying to make it a shorter video because of how long it takes. That's why I mixed up all my colors. Oh, I've just got purple everywhere, don't I? Huh. Okay, while I got the lavender, I did want, which one was it? Um, this one. I wanted a little drop of lavender up here. Okay. Got to keep the cup, if you're going to use a stick you got with the resin like this, you got to keep the cup as close as possible. So when you lift it up, you don't get these little splatters everywhere. Yeah, you can see them on the camera. But I might put some green over it so it's kind of gone. Okay. These kind of got a little too close, it looks like. Okay, um, I'm going to do the silver, debating if I should do any more petals or just fill in the rest with, with some green lines and some green petals. Okay, let me do this one, get the cup over here trying to make sure you can also see what I'm doing. It's not easy to control this resin coming off the stick. Okay, let me put some green. I don't have any white left, so I can't do another picture, but I'll probably just pour the rest of them into shot glasses. I'm just going to kind of cover that up with some green right there. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't want to put, I didn't want to mix two greens. Okay. Ah, still got to Didn't know where I was going to put the green leaves at, but I think the splatters have figured that out for me, huh? Oh, well. And I'm almost done with my cold, so I still have a runny nose, but I'm not feeling as sick as I was. Okay, now. I wanted to try to do like a vine. Okay. Oh. And I'm I I apologize for something else. Sorry that this is up late, but Sundays during the day it's a little hard for me to do anything. So if I don't do it first thing in the morning, I can't do it until the evening. But at least it doesn't take me a long time to edit. Okay, I gotta step away from the camera for one minute. I've got a paper towel over here in my 91% alcohol in a little bottle. I don't know if you can hear me doing this. Okay, that looks like it's wet enough. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I didn't want to make it too wet. Okay, here we go. This alcohol might have been the trick. Now, I am going to push it down everywhere. Oh, smell of alcohol. Do this in a well-ventilated area because the smell of alcohol can get really super strong. Okay, now I'm going to do the corners like she does. And I'm going to do it slowly. I don't know how much resin it's going to pick up when I do this. Okay. I'm going to pick up this corner and this corner. Now, the other four sides are going to be picked up. And it looks like it picked up too much resin, maybe. And I got a lot of little divots in there. Huh? Ah! Okay, so maybe alcohol wasn't the solution. Okay, um... I forgot to put a coaster down. Um, let me. And you got to be careful when you do put your heat gun on here because you got the alcohol on there. So you don't want to leave it in one spot or it may catch on fire. I don't think alcohol was the way to go. So I got, I don't know if you can see it, I don't know, here, I'll, I'll bring it up, um, I'm going to turn off my heat gun, I got to, I got to fix the, uh, the covering on this, it's got a hole in it now, okay, let me bring it up and see if you can see the divots, you can probably see it in the purples, so, I want to add just a little bit more, color where it took some off and then I'll just try to blow it blow it out and blow it flat because I do not want the divots in there because that would be a waste of a good can't well I can always sand it down and put more on there 
Okay. Now let me add a little bit more of this because it, it took away way too much color. Um, okay, so Joe Patty, I'm sorry. I tried. It doesn't work with alcohol because it put divots and got rid of too much color. So I'm just now trying to save this a little bit. And I will blow it around. Okay, let me, yeah, I should put just a hair bit silver. I'm not going to put anything over it now. I'm just going to add some color where it took a lot of it out. And then I'm going to blow it a little bit. I need to add some green too because it picked up a lot of the green not happy with that but I tried that's all that's what art is it's all all about experimentation you know you never know what effect you're going to get when you try a certain technique okay now I don't know if I I have I don't think I have any white left I have to, I think I got rid of all of it so yeah I don't have any white left so let me just heat this up some blow it around a little bit I can see it's popping bubbles but I can tell you right now that, yeah I can tell you right now that alcohol on a rag doesn't work. Oh, I don't know if I can save it. This might be a pour over. I might get a I might get a cute uh, shot glass or two out of the rest I'm trying to keep it see it I don't know why it's all running this way now it was level when I put it on here Okay, well, I got all my divots, all my little divots covered up. Looks like it's having a hard time in a couple of spots where it took all the um, resin off so all I can do is just try to fill in those little spots with whatever I can find on the table I have no more white I should, probably should have mixed more okay so now you can call this one maybe saved okay I'm going to add a little bit more silver. See if I can maybe give it some oomph. I doubt it, but I can try. So, okay, lesson learned. It didn't work, so... We're going to call this one as soon as I um, blow out the, uh, the uh, silver lines a little bit. So I know I'm not going to get any cells, but I just don't, I want to blow out the lines just a little bit.
See, with the divots, I should be able to sand it when it dries. I see something right there. At this point, it doesn't matter if I use my fingers. Oh, that resin's hot. Okay. We're going to call this one done. I'm not going to make you... I'm just going to pour the leftover resin in the uh, shot glass. So, I want to thank you all for watching. Now you know that you can't use alcohol on a paper towel on top of this you know um i don't want to even want to put any glitter on it because i'm not sure I'm not even sure see i got i got those little divots still in a couple of spots so um, so I want to thank y'all for watching. Thank you for joining me today. Um, if you haven't um, subscribed yet, please do. Okay. Um, hit the little bell for the notifications so you know when I come on and do another video. Um, if you like this one, even if it taught you a lesson on what not to do, give it a thumbs up. And I want you to remember, I love the resin right out of you guys. Okay. Here is a, oops, almost ran into something over there. I have very, very little room right here to work. So I want to thank you all for coming in. I love the resin right out of you guys. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.